Hello my loves and welcome to what I think is going to be quite a casual laid back day in the life vlog. I was watching some of my old videos recently and just thought it's been a while since I did more of a real laid back hangout type video. So I think that's what we're going to go for today. Just a very casual spend the day with me. So my morning started today at six o'clock with the most decadent and delicious breakfast courtesy of HelloFresh who have sponsored today's video which um, is very exciting for me. For 50% off your first box and 35% off the next three you can visit the link in the description or use the code MINISMALL at checkout. Uh, but after that I cracked on with working on the latest sticker design for my Patreon reward bundles. This month's theme is rainbow so lots of colourful designs to come up with and I'm trying a newish technique for me where I wanted to look at isolating the colours and the line work, doing those separately and then layering those on top of each other um, digitally once I was done. So that was a really casual start to the morning. I always work on the dining table first thing in the morning if I'm going to do some art just because um, the light in there is just miles better than in my studio but that does mean that I'm always like up and down going in there to get whatever supplies that I need at the time. Every single day And now I'm just about done. That's taken us to 10 o'clock in the morning already, which is why I do find it really important to start early. Like I can get very wrapped up in any like creative work and it takes a long time to get through. So now it's time to clear off this dining table, jump in the studio and scan those designs in, edit them so that they're ready to print as stickers. And then I think it's just gonna be one of those days where I end up doing random bits and bobs. I've got quite a few things on the list. Don't know what I will get around to or what I'm gonna prioritize, but we'll see how we get on. You can probably see now why I tend to do as much as I can in the other room in the morning because the light in here is abysmal. Hopefully you got to see what I was doing there. I basically scanned in those um, paintings and adjusted the colours and the lightness and the darkness, layered the line work over the coloured layer and it all worked out really nicely. And then I just go around um, every item, every sticker, just so that it has a white background on it. Um, I sometimes have a coloured background on the sticker sheet, sometimes I don't, but I thought for this rainbow theme that would work really well. So now I'm going to open up Silhouette Studio. I cut my stickers with um, Silhouette Cameo 4 machine. Um, I've got two now as well at the office. Uh, but yeah, I do all of this stuff here, then I save those files to the cloud and actually cut the stickers at my office slash my mum's house, uh, which I'm going to do a complete other day. But for now, I want to have those files set up. So I will show you a bit of my process there. Okay, so this is the Silhouette Studio. And the first thing I do is create the actual sticker sheet, which is going to be four by six inches. And it's like a rounded rectangle. Then I drag in the sticker sheet that I've just made and it fits that shape perfectly. So essentially what I'm doing is tracing the outline of each of the stickers that I have designed here. And I do each of them in different ways. Sometimes I want the sticker to be cut right up to the edge of the drawing. Sometimes I want there to be some border around it. So I use their sort of like auto tools to outline certain items there that are more complicated and sometimes I will um, just use like the pen tool to draw around things if I can do that quite loosely. So that's more or less done now. There is still a lot of work that I have left to do for this particular reward bundle but 
I probably will save that for another day and I can also right now hear Ozzy preparing lunch and I'm starving so I think it's time for a break. <laughs> So this is usually the time of day that I have the most energy after a little bit of a lunch and a quick tidy up. And also this is usually the time of day where Ozzy has left for work, he's back at work now. So this is the perfect time for me to schedule in stuff like if I've got a meeting or if I wanna do some filming, which I think is what I'm gonna do today. There's a video that I've had in mind for a while that I wanna crack on with. I wanted to talk about all the art that I typically make in a month. I just think it's an interesting topic for people to see, either if they are looking to uh, make art their career Career or do something like I do where it's like a social media art balance just to maybe see at least my example of how much art I make. Um, I've, I think I've been putting this off just because once I figured out how much art I was making I felt a bit like an imposter, like an artist that doesn't make that much art. Um, but I think it's good to just be honest um, and just yeah, tell the truth about how much art I actually end up making throughout the month. And I'd also like to have a sort of conversation from that and see how much art other people are making. And it's been helpful also for myself to have a, a good look at where I'm spending my time and if I do want to spend more time making art rather than making videos or uh, anything else. So I'm gonna set up for filming. I'll let you see how I do that. I'm so out of practice holding this camera. Uh, my upper body strength is non-existent. So yeah, I'm gonna set everything up and I'll show you what I end up with. Okay, so since this video is gonna be about all the art I make in a month, I have got my sketchbook here, um, all my sketchbooks that I used throughout that month and any other art that I plan on showing. Then I've got my camera here up with the backdrop of the window and that just gives a really good even natural lighting and that's where one of these days where it's really like overcast is actually really good for that um, just so you get a really even lighting on your face. And then over here I've just got my laptop where I have very basic notes um, that it's just going to help me stay on track with especially with something like this where it's like a list of things. I just need to know all of the things and make sure I don't forget anything. And then for me, I've got this microphone on here, which is attached to this thing. It's one of the Rode microphone things. Um, this is actually plugged into this camera at the moment, but in a second when I'm done talking to you guys, I'll switch over. I have been self-employed full-time for over four years now. See you soon for the next one. Bye. So I think just as I was about to start filming, someone has started using like a leaf blower or something out there. So I'm not sure. Um, I've filmed the video once. I might go through it again. It just depends on how soon this person finishes whatever they're up to out there. I refilm videos quite often as well. I do find that it goes a lot smoothly the second time, especially if I've done it all the way through once. And I feel like with this one that I was just filming, I was about halfway through when I clocked the leaf blower sound outside. And so after that point, I was just sort of treating it as a dress rehearsal for the actual video. <sighs> also, I feel like the light on there was probably a bit dark. I don't know if that looks too bright. That looks too dark, but I'd rather it be too dark than too light. I mean, the noise has stopped for now. I'll do a second take, um, and hopefully I won't be rushing through it, hoping that this noise won't come back. Full days just to finish. Sorry, the cat moving around in the background. <laughs> Brainstorming and preliminary and pre <laughs> preliminary and preliminary sketches. Mr. Boy, that's very distracting. Everything you're doing right now. Okay, so now that I have done the main. Okay, now that I've done the main bulk of the filming for that video, now that I've done all the to camera stuff, said everything I needed to say, also, good news, that noise didn't start up again. But this guy was very, very distracting. Um, so yeah, I had to start again quite a few times and he's being distracting right now. Um, so yeah, now that that part is done, I can start thinking about just filming some B-roll so that I can cut away to um, show the details of anything that I was talking about, if I'm allowed to actually get up. 
I don't know if you can see this, but look at the absolute state of me. How? Oh. Okay, I've tidied up all of my filming stuff now from next door. I also had my like daily afternoon in bed break, like a good half hour, I usually end up calling my mum. That's a habit that came from lockdown. I used to ring my mum maybe like a couple of times a week and then I'd also go and see her a couple of times a week. But when I stopped being able to go and see her, it became a daily phone call and um, we haven't dropped that. So uh, yeah, just a quick chat, spent a bit of time texting people as well. And now uh, I guess the most logical thing to jump into next is editing that video that I just filmed, especially while it's fresh in my brain. I do have some days where things are a bit more themed. I think you can be a lot more productive if you're not jumping from one task to another to another. So if I had like batched a load of filming into this day or a load of editing or a load of sticker making or whatever else, um, but it just doesn't always work like that in my life. Like sometimes I just need to go with whatever I'm ready to do at the time, whatever I'm in the mood to do, whatever I have the energy to do and whatever needs doing uh, most urgently. So that's generally how I'm working at the moment. And the next best thing to be getting on with off the top of my head is editing this video. And I feel like I might be able to get that done before the end of the day, but that is probably gonna be the very last thing that I'm gonna be getting on with work-wise today. Right, well, that is coming along okay. I don't know if I said earlier that I thought I'd finish this today, but I don't think that's gonna happen. The thing about finishing off the day with editing is that I know I can get into a zone, I can just keep my head down, and as long as it's flowing, I can carry on with this for as long as I need to, uh, but I don't think I'll finish this today. Um, we're nearing the end of the day, I'll give it another hour or so, and I'm getting hungry. This is usually the time of day where I start thinking, what am I having for dinner? And uh, as I said, Ozzy's back at work now. And as you saw earlier, he does take care of our food 90% of the time. But now that he's working in the evenings again, it's back to me to be like using the last half hour to hour of my day, like rifling through our fridge, seeing what we've got, um, going online to find recipes and like seeing if I can like measure up what we've got with the recipes that I can find. So it's been really refreshing having HelloFresh to deliver these very recipes straight to my door. The ingredients are really high quality, they're seasonal and they're from local British suppliers wherever possible as well, which makes it so surprising that it can come to like £3.25 per person per meal. I genuinely appreciate being able to go about my work day knowing that dinner is taken care of. It means that I can just sort of sit here, focus in and know that at the end of the day I've got everything I need including an easy to follow recipe card um, just to be able to confidently make something that I normally wouldn't and because the ingredients are already portioned out it means that there is so much less food waste. So the pancakes, oh those pancakes that I had earlier, they're part of their April seasonal menu so it's like um, like sunny Sundays, bank holiday brunch and they were so good. Tonight I'm gonna have the pork tacos. Yeah, it's genuinely been so convenient and really enjoyable to finish my days with a quality meal. And I have 50% off your first box if you're interested, plus 35% off the next three, which I think is a great deal. Even if you just wanna check it out, like if you've ever thought about trying HelloFresh before, I think this is a great deal to get started with. You can even just like check out their website, see the menu that they're offering. I think they have 36 different recipes every week uh, that you can try, that you can choose from different cuisines, different dietary requirements. Um, so it's definitely worth checking out, especially with that deal, if you use my link in the description um, or you can use the code really small as well. So thank you so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video and for filling my belly at the end of a busy work day.
Okay, quick outfit change. I am a lot comfier and cozier now to wind down the evening. Um, I say a little bit comfier. I am literally wearing pajamas. It was a lot more acceptable, I think, when the evenings were getting darker earlier, but now that things are getting lighter, it's coming up to seven. So yeah, it might be a bit early for PJs, but I wanted to get cozy and basically b between finishing work and eating dinner, I usually try to get in a really quick workout. I'm doing HIIT workouts on my stationary bike. So because I only have to do that for like, I mean, I only do it for like 15 or 20 minutes, honestly, because it's because it's high intensity, you don't have to put that much work into it. And you guys know that I do not like exercise. So being able to do something quick and like really intense is a lot better for me than doing like something really long and boring. And I usually follow that up with a couple of YouTube videos, like a couple of YouTube workouts. Like I like the, I think her name's Maddie. Madfit is her channel. She does like some song workouts, which I really like. Um, I find those quite fun. And I also went through a phase of doing these like reggaeton and Afrobeats workouts with a friend of mine. Like we were not doing them at the same time. We had a playlist that we both um, chose one from and she likes working out in the morning. I like working out in the evening. So she would choose one, let me know how it went um, and if she did it and then I would do it later on in the evening and let her know. And that was a really good way of us keeping each other accountable. And it was just fun. Like I've never worked out that hard and been smiling while I was doing it. So we need to get back into that. It's been a while since we've done that. But yeah, I had my workout, uh, had a shower, did my skincare. So if I'm shining, that is <laughs> that's probably why. And yeah, this is kind of a typical evening for me now. Uh, this is the time where I settle in um, and choose something to watch. I am at a bit of a dilemma at the moment. I normally go straight to Snowpiercer, the series, which I've just started watching. I'm like, I don't know, maybe six episodes in. A friend recommended it to me because she knows that I like dramatic trash. <laughs> And it is just that. I mean, it's very dramatic, a little bit ridiculous, um, just lots of action. It's not like unwatchable. Um, it's just a bit over the top, you know? Um, but yeah, I'm really loving that. That's been my go-to for the evenings. But somehow I ended up just browsing Netflix and I feel like they've got loads of new stuff on there that I haven't seen before. So I think I'm gonna spend a bit more time browsing. I've got my wine here and it's been a good productive day for sure. I always feel nervous going into these vlogs that are less planned, less structured, less of a sort of direction to them. So I'd be curious to know if you guys found it interesting. I just never know if my day is gonna go as well as it did today. Like if I'm just gonna end up sitting at my desk all day and it just not make an interesting video. So I'd love to know if you're interested in videos like this and also if you're interested in seeing just the sort of day-to-day -day life stuff that I throw in there every once in a while. Either way, I've really enjoyed bringing you along with me today. So I will let you know what I end up watching and I guess I will see you soon in the next video.